You want me to sing? You, do you want me to sing a Michael Jackson for you? Yes, just, uh, yes. Oh, I, I used to love Michael Jackson. I'll go okay. ahead. Speechless. Speechless. Now, people, this female on the line is pretending to be an old woman because she gets a scam call from who? None other than a Jamaican yardy. Yes, man, an original Jamaican chopper. In other terms, a Jamaican scammer. So, people, the man literally starts sing. I mean, the man try to persuade the woman to send the money. The man take him job so seriously. I forget this money, but it means the man say, oh, I go boss a Michael Jackson song, people. Tell me what you think about his performance. Speechless. That's how you make me feel. Without you and for you and love forever. We love it you and I love it. Make it for you. It's oh my gosh for the love of my life. And no one gets the best. Ha ha ha! I'm ready for a book now, that one! Big up every scammer. We make you a stallion. Big up the house for your mama. Oh, I'll be a bride. Show up. Show up, show up, show up. Now people, one thing about Jamaicans, if them they are Jamaica, some of them, they might give themselves problems. Just like this chopper, the man are sing fee money. Then again, look at this next man now. The man they are firing the people, them then are them green and them have them march for whatever reason. We know say now nah, nothing to do with no labor right. Here the man and the people them play, show a labor right. And even know say I fuck him go with it. <laughs> I swear. Now people speaking about Jamaica and Jamaicans, on a serious note, recently I shared a video where a male student was caught on camera actually assaulting a male teacher, chucked the teacher in her face. And you know that is assault, none of man has done nothing about them. And then people to my surprise, about two days after I see this video with a female student actually attacking a male teacher and I'm like, oh, I want really go on. People, take a look at this. <laughs> Now people, one video is one too many video and then a second video, there is a pandemic. The students are the kids of Jamaica. Them nana manners as usual, we know say them nana manners but when it comes down to the point of physically assaulting or attacking an adult, you know that we have a serious problem. Jamaica is upside down and for the reason I say things like this is for videos like even this. Take a look at this. So the document that the police are used. Them. Right? I try to authority. Go give me a give me a summary. Say feel that for use. Feel that for use. Document. Yeah, yeah, feel that yeah. produce document. How that possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we have to do it, it's against the law, yeah. Anything else, man? Two man. Let him stay there, man. Exalted. Come, sir. We are not quarrelling. Yeah, but we can't get a summary to say feel that the produce document. When the police have a document, they give me document. Give me document. Give me document. The police have a document. Now people, what I'm understanding from this video is that this motorist was stopped by the police and he was asked to hand over his documents and he did just so. Now people, was in that process, the transport authority was there and also they're asking him for his documents but he cannot give them his documents because the police at the same time is using the documents to process and look up all the information and see if they're up to standards with the legal system in Jamaica. Now people, the transport authority now wants someone the man to court for failure to provide his documents. But how can he provide his documents while the police are using the documents? Now people, does that make any sense at 
all is Jamaica crazy? Isn't this just stupidness? And I know this man was recording with his phone. But people, the Jamaican law states that once you're in public, once you're in the public domain, you can record anything and you have no right to privacy whilst you're in public. So the man can record all he wants and you hear the, ma the man I tell the man say, you know that it is illegal to record me at this, to record me. I am just letting you know that is just total stupidness. One bag of fool in this Any of people, what is up? Well, go on, my dance out truth family. Hope each and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and make we kick the video off like this. A two somebody rap my father, you know, millions, you know, politician. At least you can get back the money from the politician and get back the place why me that buy. And the and Paula friend. Cause the woman are up my father, you know, and now the people they not talk, say a parlor friend, you know. You know, see as my father for go back to Jamaica what there, yeah. For go deal with the case. Yeah, yes, a case, jump up, yeah, yes, a warrant jump up for him. Why you think that? A parlor and her friend them. Parlor and her friend them, bro. Them thing of politics what we talk about. Paul and her friend them trump up case. Yeah. Remember say no. The witness in my father's son case a two evidence, a two statement him gain a change him statement how much time you know. And see them still send the youth to prison. Nobody not talk about them thing there. Remember say them say the only thing my mother wanted for you know. I said the youth them I said the boss send them. Remember as artists, you know, if you send nobody, go kill nobody when you're powerful. People just mess with you and people just take it up on them head figure to people think. That's it, go. Now, people, that was uh, some audio recording of uh, somebody making some serious allegations against the DPP. Paula Illuin stating that uh, Paula Illuin and uh, Jennifer Masado are friends. This is the same Jennifer Masado who is a lawyer who defrauded dancehall artist Movado of over 30 million Jamaican dollars for some properties that she purchased for the entertainer. Now, people, it is being stated in the recording that Movado should or would have re entered Jamaica, but as he was about to re enter Jamaica, Paula Illuin used her powers or abused her powers to make Movado know that if he does enter Jamaica, he could be arrested and there are charges here in Jamaica for Movado. And this person is stating that. Paula Illuin is just using her powers just because she and Jennifer Masado are friends. No, people, as I said, these are all allegations. All allegations are, you can say, well, they, have, they have a next word where they use, are alleged, alleged allegations against Jennifer Masado. Any of people, do share your thoughts about that in the comment section, though. Effective the 1st of June, the national minimum wage will increase from 13,000 per 40 hour week to 15,000. And people, of course, that was the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the most honorable Andrew Olness, in his recent budget reading, letting everyone know that the minimum wage of Jamaica is going to move from $13,000 to $15,000. That's over 100 US dollars. Now, a lot of persons are happy about that, and you have some persons that are not happy about that. But people, just a small reminder that it says minimum wage, and you know that minimum wage is for mostly like low skilled workers. You know, minimum wage basically when you just start work out you know are you just left from school and you find one look work and minimum wage should be your stepping stone as in you turning an adult actually getting a career into something else you would get a better paying job but people some people just don't understand when them say minimum wage every time the prime minister do the budget debate and talk about minimum wage there's a set of people are complaining in the comment section i talk about your own that minimum wage can't do nothing for people. People are supposed to survive off a minimum wage and them something there. And granted, a lot of the country already understands what minimum wage is, but more or less enough people don't understand. Or, them do know, them just not care, them just need something for complaint more in the comment section for vent. Either way, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Guys, I want you to understand that minimum wage is not a place for grown adults to be with children. Right? Minimum wage is not a permanent state that you should be in. Minimum wage... 
is supposed to be something that young adults take part in who probably just left school and have no qualifications and won't make a little money until they sort out themselves. That's what minimum wage is. When I look for raise a whole family off a minimum wage, that's crazy. Come on, people, let's come on, let's let's be honest here, right? Minimum wage is not a place that you can raise a family off. Minimum wage is a starting point. You're not supposed to be there permanently. It's a temporary state for you to be able to just move up from that level, right? So when you come and complain about minimum wage and I say people can't survive off of that, I mean, technically that's true. You're not supposed to be surviving off a of minimum wage in a really make sense, right? You have to be investing in yourself. You have to develop yourself. That is why when we talk about paying attention in school and continuing to develop yourself even into adulthood, to make yourself more marketable when we're looking for jobs, it allows persons to avoid falling into this minimum wage situation, right? Because look at it this way. If they were to keep raising minimum wage, to, if they raise minimum wage to, to, to high levels, right? Like 30 grand and something, the way you think that I go do to the economy, that I go mash up the economy. And comparing the prime ministers and the parliament raised to increasing minimum wage, their raise does not affect the economy as much as raising minimum wage or because there's far more people on minimum wage. You get what I say? So we okay, can I compare them to them for say yo if them can raise for them pay them off raise minimum wage to and I really so it work. Right? But I will say this. People need to be intentional about what it is they want out of life and what it is that they're doing, right? Because at the end of the day, and this is my honest opinion, I don't think anybody really cares about poor people. If you look at it, people only care about people who have things, who have money, who have status, who have power. If you ever notice, when somebody is famous, them they really have to pay for nothing, you know. Them can get things for free, you know. People gear things for free when you have it already, you know. When you have money already, when you're rich, when you're popular, people just give things for free. Versus when you're quote unquote regular or poor, you have to buy everything. Nobody not really check for you. You get what I say? Like, on a need to be more intentional about what it is you want out of life and move forward. Because if only things to the government or any government that come save you, um, for you know, one whole heap of money for minimum wage, then on out of the mind, to be honest. Right? So, Yes, I can understand the dilemma of enough people because they were dealt a hard hand in life and not everybody did make the best of the opportunities that were presented to them. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that you're owed a minimum wage salary that's supposed to help you provide for you and your family because that's not what it's for. You have to invest in yourself and develop a skill or further education in some way for be able to compete in the job market. That's just where it is right now. You get what I say? Life hard enough. You know? Right, you have to fear yourself a competitive. Nobody know how the time for you are for nobody nowadays. Everybody I try to get it. Everybody I try to uplift for them family for move forward. Right? So I just my two cents on this whole um minimum wage debate. But no said so there'll be more um people complaining about this as time itself exists because people are gonna always just miss the bigger picture of it. But it's not a permanent state for you to be. It's, I was always meant to be temporary. As a relatively young man, I did tell myself, say, yo, any day me have to depend upon the government to take care of my family, like I literally have to wait upon the government to give me something so my youth them can eat. Me know say me fail as a father, me know say me fail as a man. I did not do the best that I can do. That's the worst place for death. If I have to depend upon somebody, if I have to depend upon the government, we can make sure so you pick them sort out. Yo. That can be a nice feeling, I swear. And people, let me ask you this question. What do you think about the Prime Minister's budget speech? Do you think that it will be effective? Do you think that it was enough? Or do you think it's a big no-no? Let me know in the comment section. See again, you know, and I say we know what increase, you know. But when you come here, a man, $2,000 per weekly pay, you know. Security get one thousand dollar per week to pay. Minimum wage get two thousand dollar per week to pay. You know some more stress you put the people in me now. Enough, enough more stress you put the people in me now. Cause I see people that provide goods and services, brother. Them now go take a loses just like that, you know, brother. Them all mark up them thing, you know. I remember say last year, you know, 
respect again you give one decent raise you know to security and minimum wages you know where the business people the mafia try switch back that the money they know because it was a FD increase you know with glad feet you know although it should have been bigger you know but you have to look on the business sector at the same time you know imagine a man have seven workers in nine, 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 nine walls here plus one security and in all of a sudden you have to find an additional fifteen thousand dollars every week to pay them, you know, feel like say more raise them goods, them in order for make about fifteen thousand fifteen thousand dollar every week. Fifteen thousand dollar every week, you know, is sixty thousand dollars a month, you know. It's twelve times six or seven hundred thousand dollars that for year, you know. I'm all just looking, I just losing seven hundred thousand. Him now go mark up him goods them. Say so two thousand and a thousand dollar give you know go back in a in a markup and raise a price. Cause everything raise. You know, you're full of bumbo class. Six or one of the nice same blood clot thing in you know, a brother. Young lad make life worse a few weeks. You're not making no better for you, brother. Me dying for the general election come for you vote out your blood clot. Sim Sima, who got the keys to my bim? Who am I? Well, it's said to be that Beanie Man is a chef now. Well, people, check this out. Legendary dancehall artist Beanie Man recently opened a restaurant by the name of Sim Sima. And I'm going to leave you with this vlog. Somebody visited the restaurant and showed what the restaurant looked like and what the food looked like and their overall experience. Now people, just before I go though, let me ask you this question. Will you be dining at Beanie Man's restaurant Sim Sima? People, take a look at this. Come with me to check out Beanie Man's new restaurant Sima Seafood Lounge. So we got there. It looked really nice. It was given very much like backyard vibes. I loved it. Um, as you can see, I love the seating and the greenery. And it was just like I said, it was given backyard Rasta man. I really enjoyed it. So first you're gonna get up and go order here at the window. So we ordered our food, ordered our drinks. Everyone just got their favorite beers. So Magnum, I love Sara beer. That's my favorite beer. And um, my other friend got a dragon beer. So we're just toasting to life. Then the food came out, y'all. And mmm. Listen, I don't think I ever been happier. Like everything looks so good. Festival, plantain, rice and peas, lobster, curry goat, jerk chicken. Like what? Everything was so good. And then Beanie Man came over and said hello to everybody, which I really loved and enjoyed and just welcomed us. So yeah, you guys can enjoy the rest to see how it goes. You guys, we eat family style. We are family, one love. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> What's our order? Um, lobster, curry go, this chicken, jerk chicken, plantain, and festival. How do you like your food? The goat is good. The goat is good. Same joining them. The festival was good. 